Hamstring strong humans and today we're going to look at muscle length testing for the hip joint. We'll firstly start off on the hamstrings. You can do this in one of two ways. You can simply say to your patient, with your left leg, can you lift up as far as you comfortably can until you feel a bind. Yeah? Or I can literally lift their leg forward and when I feel the bind, yes, yeah, so that's the slack taken out. You can also look at where the knee wants to flex. So in this case, the bind is there because to strain the leg is a bit of a resistance. So if you're looking at range of motion 90, anything less than 90, 80 degrees, then we have relative shortness in the hamstring group. Let's say, for instance, the range of motion is 60, 70 degrees, and we back it off. If we internally rotate and then bring the leg into adduction and there's a bind, then that might indicate the bicep femoris is tight. If you externally rotate and you abduct and there's tightness and bind, then that would indicate the semitendinosis or semimembranosis would be tight. So you can isolate between the medial hamstrings as compared to the lateral hamstrings. Do you want to come and sit right on the edge, please? So this is the Thomas test. So place a pillow to support. So we hold on to the right knee, both hands, pull up on the right back. So what we do in this position, to set up the test, ideally the patient would pull the hip which posteriorly rotates the ilium, which then flattens the lower part of the back, and that would be the starting position for the test. You look at the position of the hip to the knee, and then if the knee is slightly higher than the position of the hip, like so, then that would indicate a psoas contracture and relax. If the knee was below the level of the hip, then that would indicate a normal psoas. Okay, in this case, you know, it's around level, yeah, parallel, and if you stabilize and push down, and you're looking for about a 10 degree spring, and if it springs okay, then psoas is probably all right. In this case, there is a slight tension, but what I do notice, if you look at the knee and the ankle, then you notice that the lower leg ideally should be held around 90 degrees. In this case, it's held in extension, so this would indicate a tightness of the rectus femoris. From this position, hand onto the side of the hip, hand onto the side of the knee. If I take the leg away into abduction, and I've got a, a nice free range, then it indicates that the adductor is okay. And if I was to take the leg into adduction, and there's nice freedom of motion, then it would indicate that the TFL and the IT band would be okay. In this case, when I pull in, there's resistance because it pulls back. And you'll also notice the lower leg strains a little bit. Whereas when I go that way, we have a little bit of freedom on the adductor. So the TFL IT band is relatively tight and we have a slight tightness in the adductors. The psoas is relatively okay, but we have tightness in the rectus 